It's so good to have you back. Thanks for joining me. My YouTube journey got started by streaming Ocarina of Time at uh, the encouragement of a friend. I've really enjoyed that journey and I've had four live streams to date. That's put me about a fourth of the way through the game and I felt like it was time to put those experiences together in one video, uh, cut out some of the exploration and me figuring things out and put in uh, the, the content that I found really interesting and fun. So that's what this video is. It's a compilation of my first four live streams playing Ocarina of Time. Uh, you'll notice that my audio and video uh, production has gotten better over time. And, uh, you know, it'll be a good journey to show my, uh, my experience here on YouTube as well. So thanks for being here, and let's see how I've enjoyed the first fourth of the game. Good old Navi, bumping into that fence. Come on, you lazy link. Let's get up. Hey, Navi. I'm so glad the great Deku Tree sent you. I don't know if I really want you as my partner saying hey, hey, hey all the time, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's go uh, explore this world. Maybe this isn't quite as open world as some of the newer ones, but... Uh, Darn, when this first came out, was it something else? Wow, you got a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, questing. That's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri. The great Deku Tree has summoned you? That's quite an honor. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. All right. Let's see here, swords over here, right? Go through the garden. Um, enter. All right. And there is. Let's see, there's something you need to dodge, right? Alright, get some more of those rupees. Grab us a sword. Alright, so now I can slash with the sword. Perfect. Let's see here. There are some rupees around, right? Let's see here. I can't remember if there's anything else. Nope, I don't think there's much else up here. So I should be able to go back through. Let's go chop down some grass, get us some more rupees. If you want to see the great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Surprise! What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield? And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mito, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Serena and the, or Soraya and the great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, thanks for letting me through. Gotta go save the world, right? Welcome, questing. A vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Of course I do. Then enter brave questing. Thou to Navi. Although, I mean, come on, like, an N64 controller is so, so classic. Alright. Shop these guys, right? Awesome. 
Do 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 do. Deck you stick. An actual original N64 and an original controller, although I have replaced the, uh, the joystick, so um, I don't have the drift problems that uh, the old one had. All right, great, I can climb it uh, on up. Let's see where we're going. At this point, I remember. Oh, yes, I can't take it. Thank you, Navi. It's great. Forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold forward, you will roll on the ground when you land, and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. Hehe. <laughs> well, try it if you're feeling bold. Ooh, cool. Hold forward, huh? This uh, the compass. Got to use the slingshot to do this, right? Yeah. Now hit the skull tokus. Yeah. Or whatever they're called. Sweet. I have a Deku nut. Ouch. Here. I don't remember where to go from here. Oh, turn around, turn around. Oh gosh. I use the right buttons. light these somehow, right? Uh, like this. Yes. Oh, I 
let's just get back out. Okay. Can I step on this to do something? Yes, I can. Oh, it's timed. That's right. I remember this. And I remember how bad I suck at it. Hey, Bean. How are you? Good to see you here. Yeah, I, uh... I've never gotten terribly far in this game either. I feel like this is one of those games that a lot of us uh, in the era, uh, you know, knew about and played some, but, uh, you know, unless you were the, like, gamer, gamer of the family, you didn't put the hours in to beat it. Um, also, probably, you know, I, I was probably a little young to fully beat the game when it first came out. I mean, 10 years old. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of open world RPGs today are a little bit more um, involved than, you know, Ocarina of Time, but. You know, my my kids um, aren't necessarily beating all of the open world RPGs, even though they're, you know, enjoying playing them. So, awesome. All right. Okay. Um, so I think I just need to go back over to the other side. funny because it's been um oh i don't know it's probably been three or four years since the last time i tried to play this game so some of this feels really familiar you know from childhood and from previous playthroughs and some of this i'm just like re-remembering like oh yeah about that or i don't really remember <laughs> it's an interesting experience playing a game that you've played but like haven't actually played um it's been fun though all right got the compass so now we can see what's actually in the uh, the different areas. See, so yeah, I gotta get down to the basement. I think I'm pretty close, right? Let's go ahead and save so I don't have to come back and redo all of that. I want to say that like having save features like this, um, where you could save kind of at any point in the game, was uh, pretty new at this point, right? Um, I mean, even nowadays, not all games let you kind of save when you want to save. Um, like the Horizon games. Um, yeah, you can always save at like campfires and stuff. You can't save at other places, which I mean, it's fine. But uh, I am definitely one who appreciates being able to save um, more times along the way. So is this as high as I go? Is this where I actually jump down from the platform? I don't remember. At least kill all these guys. Or can I get up higher? All right, let's look. I think this is as high as I go. All right, let's. Oh, that didn't go like I wanted it to. All right, let's climb back up. Not, oh, like, is it just this one I can jump off of? It's just this one. Nope, okay, that's his taller ones I gotta jump off of. Which is great, but... Um, it's kind of funny to think that, like, you know, just like a flat texture was supposed to give us the clue to climb those walls. I don't think I can go any higher. Hmm. Is it that I need to do this. There we go. Got a sword attack to the ground. Alright, there we go. I keep forgetting about Z-targeting on stuff like that. I know it would make it a lot easier to like make sure I hit my targets. <laughs> Gotta get better at remembering uh, to Z-target. Um, I can burn the cobwebs away, but I got to, right? But I've got to... Get over here somewhere and do something. Was he an armored one? All right. 
let's go collect that. Ooh, I destroyed a gold one, that's right. So I got my gold token now. So I need to go up here. Oh, that's right. There's a button here. The right lights that fire. Okay, I do remember some of this. If I take this and jump over the water, yeah. I can burn this. Perfect. I get in that door. Go attack him. Two, three. <laughs> you think I'm a traitor? Yes, but I'm also going to appreciate being a traitor. Um, let's see here. I don't remember. Can I? The iron bars are blocking the way. Can I shoot? that eye, or do I have to come in here with something else? I can't remember. Ah. Look at that. Listen. Dive down with A. Alright. What's interesting down here? Can I push that while diving? Just gotta get right on top of it. Nope. It's funny, I have so much nostalgia for the N64, and I still love playing it, but then also there's some things like the controls that just drive me crazy sometimes. It's a little bit more sensitive than I would like in some areas, and then other times you can't actually like get right where you want it to be. Just funny how uh, how you can both like love and hate something at the same time. All right, turn your back, turn your back. There we go. One more time. One more time. And that lets us push this over, right? There we go. All right, and then that lets us climb up. And then climb up here. Oh. again, right? That's why there was one of those guys in here, so that if I didn't have a stick, I could get one. Like that one. Like that one. Perfect. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. getting too, uh, too antsy. Alright, got some more rupees. I forget what to do with these guys. Alright, 
Cool. Cool. That's something I was thinking about the other day, um, being a, a gamer who grew up in the 90s. I was thinking about how, um, you know, modern games don't punish you as much for dying or whatever, um, and how that's probably a good thing overall. Um, but man, like, I still have a hard time of, like, you know, I mean, like, in Mario Brothers, like, death was, like, permanent. Like, the original Mario Brothers. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a pretty big punishment to die. Um, so then come back and, you know, come to the modern era where, like, I don't know, like Celeste. I love Celeste if, uh, if anyone played that game. And, uh, you know, it's great that you can just, like, die and die and there's, like, basically no penalty for it. Um, in some ways it makes the game just a little bit, like, you can focus on the game a little bit more and not on, oh, what am I going to do to make sure I don't die? <laughs> uh, I think that's one thing I really um, appreciated about, oh my gosh, about Ocarina of Time is since you could save so often, like, yeah, your penalty of death was definitely not as high because, um, you know, as long as you remember to save fairly often, you didn't have to uh, redo too much when you died. All right. Uh, Z targeting, yeah. Okay, so we're back in this room, but now we're up higher. And I think if we push this down, it makes us we can get back up here without having to go back through. Oh goodness, grab. There we go. Still getting used to all of the control schemes. Jump back over. Yeah, perfect. Oops. Oh gosh. Burn that. Jump down. Oh gosh. I'm gonna die here. Two. Three. One. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Guma to you. Or Goma? Guma? I don't know how you pronounce that. In order to administer the coup de gras to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Thanks for betraying your queen. All right. I forget, are there any other hearts in here? There are. Might as well go into the boss fight with full hearts, right? I don't remember how to stun her. Maybe up here. There we go. There we go. A parasitic armored arachnid. What a great game. Alright, how do I stun her? That's right, that's right. Our little children. Pretty gross little children. Click some hearts.
Oh dang. children. That's all right. Does she have different phases or does this, uh, this is kind of the boss fight? I don't remember. Come on. Do what you're going to do. There we go. No, I don't think I can. So I can shoot her eyes, but I don't think that's a possibility. Alright! One of those things that, uh... Like, I think back to, you know, I, I mean, I guess, you know, we had Nintendo Life and stuff, but uh, before the internet, you know, some of this was just, like, trial and error. Um, I mean, not that I look up every boss I ever play in every game, but, like, there are times it's like, man, I've, I've tried this boss, like, three or four or five times, can't get it, so I'm going to look up kind of a tutorial. Ooh, a wicked man of the desert. Cast a dreadful curse. Was this the first time Ganon made an appearance in Zelda? I don't remember. Don't remember. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nairu. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world.
Favreau? Favreau? I don't know. With her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed into the heavens, and the golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast out the death curse upon me and swapped my power, or sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Questing, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse upon me. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Oh, I gotta talk to you now? Hey, Questing, what did you do? The great Deku Tree, did he, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Well, one way to become liked, kill the great Deku Tree. Let's go find the princess. You're leaving? I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Questing, because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this, Ocarina. Please take good care of it. Roll credits! Good thing I don't know any songs yet. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Do -do -do -do. Drawbridge down. Let's go find the princess. <laughs> Which, yeah, you don't really tell me anything, right? They're different. You're not from around here, are you? Hi, Mal Malon. Malon? It's Malon, right? Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, yeah. We got a Lon Lon Ranch. Oh yeah, I gotta go find your daddy. Alright, I think we gotta climb up one of these vines. I don't remember if it's this one or not, but... We'll try this one. Because why not? Do I drop down in the guardhouse, or do I drop down on the other side? No, I think I just come over around here, right? No, I guess... Not the best guards in the world, are they? I mean, I'm not going to complain. But you do have to wonder about the uh, security in a place like this. Let's see here. Can I sneak up here? Is that where I, is that where I go? Not get caught by him. What direction is he facing? I guess he's facing to the left. There. Guard there. If I go up that wall, I think I go up that wall. Mm 
Do I just drop down here? Yes, so. And I go down in the water, huh? And then use the water to hide myself. Let's go see if we can find Zelda. Guards over here. Oh, yeah, I found your daughter. I don't think I can wake him up yet, can I? I have to wait till morning. When was the first time uh, all of you played uh, played this game? I know it's um, had a couple of remakes. Um, I know a lot of people love the 3DS remake. Um, I considered maybe trying to play that, but I don't have a 3DS, and so um, you know logistics of getting that and everything taken care of. Yes, I understand that. We are at that castle, the little lobby. Um, yeah, were you like, uh, early, I played on N64, or were you, uh, a later, um, later player? You're like me, and never actually played through the game, but I wanted to. Alright, it's starting to get morning time. Okay, can't, can't shock him awake. He doesn't wake up eventually, right? Or do I have to wake him up somehow? You got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. I have some sort of chicken egg. Alright, so let's set you there. There we go. Just had to wait for the morning. <laughs> Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went out to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Melon was looking for me? I gotta catch it from her. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Melon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Not jump up there. There we go. Get to go in the back way. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Well, because your guards never look behind them. Oh, what's that? Is that... A 
fairy? Then are you, are you from the forest? Then, then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green shining stone? Like, why would you think that someone from the forest would have that stone? Like, just one person just randomly shows up and they're gonna have that stone. Kind of funny. Do you have it? I sure do, princess. Just as I thought. I also have news. You're gonna turn into a dragon someday. Spoiler alert. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes. Oh, that's why. It's a prophecy. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? I am questing. Strains, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, questing. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yeah. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. I'm afraid. I have a feeling that this man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter. Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph on it. Um, so yeah, so now that uh, we've met Zelda, gotten her letter, uh, we're going to walk out here and go get her song. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Memorize this song. Left, upright, left, upright. Left, upright, left, upright. Left, up, right. Left, up, right. I know you don't have to play in tune in like the same time, but yeah, for this first time we will. All right, so Zelda's lullaby is now learned. I don't remember what Zelda's lullaby does, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Okay. I don't remember where we get the king's permission, but uh, we'll figure it out here. What if I show you Zelda's letter? Will you let me in? Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. 
Hmm, okay. This is questing. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Okay, okay, all right. You can go. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wahahaha. Cool. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should be able to check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. Let's see if we can get our, get our shield here. I'm a little short. Let's go sell this mask and see if that gets us enough to, uh, to get the shield. Just have to show it to him. Ah, there we go. Ha ha ha. Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a he something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Sure. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Ha ha ha. You sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Is this one where I listen for the music? Is that how I do this one? Yeah, okay. Hey, over here. Hoo -hoo. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. All right. Beat him. So that gives us the gate open. Um, okay, so not that way. I know I've got the map, but I don't remember if there's any like hidden things in here I need to get on my way. All right. Nope. I'm back here, you. Got a date with uh, Soraya. Gotta make it to her. Come back here. I kind of forgot the uh, reflective mechanic uh, started here. Um, I've been waiting for you, questing. This is Sacred Forest Meadow. It is my secret place. This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. Let's learn Soraya's song. Down right left, down right left. My turn. Down right left, down right left, down right left, down left. Da, 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 da. Great, great. Please don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Soraya's song. You can talk with me anytime. Mask shop. Here we go. Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton mask. Payment received. Um, special powers, mask of truth. But 
this point. I don't think I need any masks. I think we're good for now with the mask shop. And then we'll come back at some point. Let's go buy us a shield. Welcome. I want to buy your Hylian shield, please. You heard about us from the guard at the Death Mountain Gate? Well, I have good... I have to give you a good deal, then. You got the Hylian shield. Switch to the equipment screen and select this shield. Then equip it with A. All right. Back up from Death Mountain we go. Got the shield. Learn Soraya's song. Got him a mask. I think had a busy day. What do you want now, Navi? Spiritual Stone of Fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. Perfect. That's why we're here. Death Mountain Trail. Let's do this. All right. Up we go. All right. Let's go visit the, uh, the city here. What does the sign say? Just say Goron City. Land of the Gorons. Goron City. Perfect. Goron City. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from the hunger because of the food so shortage in town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's ca Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Uh, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. Okay. That's right. A bunch of starved... Or starved guys. Uh, I thought I could walk across that. Well. That was a quick way down. Let's see here. Can I, I can't grab these yet, can I? Let's see here. All right, let's talk to you. What do you got to say? Big Brother has shut himself up inside his room saying, I will wait here for the royal family's messenger. Ah, just got to play in front of the door, not in front of the guard. Okay. talk to you what the heck who are you when i heard the song of the royal family i expected that their messenger had arrived but you're just a little kid has darunia the big boss of the gorons really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sword and brother the king now i'm really angry get out of my face now are you asking why i'm in such a bad mood right now ancient creatures have infested the dodongo's cavern We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need help from strangers. Uh, but what if you do need help? Can I play the song again? I can use the sticks. Go light out there. Okay, I think that's what I gotta do. Run, run, run. Take the fire with you. All right, got one lit. Two lit. Three lit. Four lit. Doom, 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 doom that away uh, I don't remember what that does for me though I 
I go the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Uh, let's go use another stick. I lit one. How about the other? Did that do anything for me? I mean, I got a nice jingle, but can I light the bombs with fire? Is that what I got to do? Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, they exploded. Why didn't the rocks go anywhere? To do it again. Oh, you have to watch the explosion? Okay, cool. Awesome. So glad to have you along with me today. All right. So I think we go right and then left. Yeah, here we go. We can go right back to the Dongo Cavern. Straight from here. So we're back. We're going to go down there and go see if playing the song where I'm supposed to play the song will help us uh, progress forward. Let's see if my uh, if I've done the same mistake twice. There we go. Yeah, I was standing too far back. Had to get him to dance. He was a little dance there. Oh, oh, ho! Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Hot, hot, hot! What a hot beat! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like. Crazy. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go to destroy the monsters inside of the Dondongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everyone will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. Oh, good. All right, so from here, can I pick up one of these? Oh, I can. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Let's go upstairs. This is the exit. All right, cool. Let's go back down the mountain part way. Go see where we can get, uh, get ourselves into some trouble. Sweet. Are there not any flowers right here?
Do I have bombs yet? I don't remember if we've gotten bombs yet. No, we don't. All right. Ah, this way. There's something this way, right? Do you have a question for me? Ask about the... Oh, ask about Dodongo's Cavern. Did you see the cavern on your way here? That is the Dodongo's Cavern. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. How do I get it open? Is it from here? Do I gotta do something from here? Uh, oh yeah. I think I'd like throw it from here or something, right? Ah, oh, there we go. Just gotta step back from the fence a little bit. Cool. Cavern is open. Cool. Cavern is open. All right, let's get this door open. Oh gosh. There we go. Now we're in. Now we're in. The Dongo's Cavern. All right. I don't really remember any of the puzzles in here. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. All right. We will try not to step in lava. Can I make that jump? I don't remember if I can. Let's give it a shot. Sure can. Perfect. Who are you? Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, that didn't work out so well for, for Link. Ooh. Oops. Blur around a little bit and see where this cavern is going to take us. Right, nothing on this side. About this side. I climb up that textured wall. Hmm. Maybe I do have to jump to that middle section and then use it to get over here. Can I walk here? Oh, I can walk along here. Cool. I don't know if that does anything for me, but I can. Oh, there we go. There's a ladder. There we go. Looks like there's a wall I can blow up. Kaboom. All right, what's this going to tell us? The statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. We figured out, I don't think we figured out what those are for yet, have we? Um, we'll kind of avoid that guy. Okay, there's another door we can blow up. Try not to get lasered to death. Oh gosh. I'm gonna blow myself up. All right, let's try that again. That was a little close for comfort, huh? I'm like, there we go. Hmm, step on this, and what does it do? Opens that, but when I step off, it probably goes back. Yes. Push you over and trigger this. Switch. Perfect. Can I get in, though? Uh, okay, yeah. Perfect. 
Those keys? I guess those are probably keys, huh? Oh, nice. Got a heart. Cool. All right. So is that our first introduction to keys enemies? I think it might be. All right. What am I doing in here? Z targeting is tough with uh, this game. Oh gosh. Don't die. Oh gosh. Oh, give me some. What a way to die. What a way to die for Link. No heart from you either? Man, this game is rigged. All right, let's go in the store and see what new things we What? Why does his breath not light that on fire? Explain that one to me. There we go. Got the fires all lit. And let's go in the door. Their button. Button, button. Who's got the button? Oh, now we're back in the central room, aren't we? Okay. Cool. I guess I can probably use this to get across. I have to wait for it to go down and back up. All right, where we go? Ooh. Can I make it? Oh, I got a little greedy there. But I think we're good. All right, so we go in there. Is there anything on this side? Oh, bomb flowers, interesting. Okay. Go in here, see what's going to kill us next. Huh. Yeah. Called it. Something wants to kill me. Ooh, got the compass. So now... I don't have the map yet, so that doesn't really help me, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So I did have to blow him up. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I would not have noticed that there's like an empty spot here and I need to do something with it. Or would Navi have told me? <clears throat> Look at all those bomb flowers. Is there any way you can set them all off at once? There sure is. I don't know if I got that centered enough, but we'll see. Sure enough. Set them all off and get some stairs. 
Navi gets annoying sometimes, but I guess uh, I guess she's useful in situations like this. All right. Let's go up these stairs. Well, we'll just skip that for now. Probably come to regret that later. All right, what do we got in here? Got some fire keys. All right, so can I get up this ladder? Can I move you? Looks like there should be something else in here, but I guess not. Okay. Ah. Gotcha. Oh, okay, the bridge is perfect. Jump, Link, jump. Don't get burned. I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. So close. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. There we go. I told you we were going to get it. Hmm. Can I do anything there? Oh. Just shoot up there. There we go. Jump across. What do we have in here? Uh oh. Someone just kind of popped out of nowhere. for me. More fun way I can just kill you. One down. Come on, Lizalfo, where are you going? Alright, cool. Ooh. Big gap. attention to the things trying to kill you. 
Oh no, do I have to start over? Alright, got a heart. Alright, back up we go. I guess I just have to be quick. What's my problem? Wasn't quick enough. There we go. Oh my gosh, Link, make your jumps. Oh, okay, so the treasure chest was up here. Perfect. What did we get? Ooh, got a bomb bag. Guess we go back this way. Ah, that sets us to go up higher. Does that help us? Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Check. <clears throat> Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will it be open. All right, I'm going to guess seeing red means when it has bombs in its eyes. If I walk along here, can I put bombs in its eyes? Nope, falling off. Okay, I got one eye. But the second one, I think I got it in there. Perfect. Look at us go. I jumped to it from here. Sure can. All right. Let's go inside the mouth. But what if it doesn't want to come down? All right, let's go up in here. Dang fire keys. Down to a quarter heart. I think we're going to be probably restarting here at some point from the beginning of the cave. But that's alright. We'll see what we've got down here. Oh, I've got a box. What do we do with the box? Can I just jump up here? I can, but what do I do once I get up here? Ah. Out other boxes. So, can I push this box off if I do this? Push that off to the other side here. Perfect. Sorry, I know that uh, heart uh, stuff is really annoying, but. I don't see any other jars, so we're going to have to listen to uh, the hearts. Push, Link. Push. Go. 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 Sometimes you ought to remind Nintendo that... Uh, you know, pushing like, you know, two or three blocks is probably good. Right. Get through here. Almost like Nintendo knew when someone needs hearts, we're going to just like give them hope with the, uh, the clay jars, but there's never actually going to be hearts in them when, we, when they want them. Uh, 
Where's the other one? There we go. Woo. All right, I think there's only two in here, right? So we should now be good to go. I'll give this a uh, try or two. If uh, this looks like it's going to take me too long, I might have to uh, put this off for uh, next weekend stream, but uh, let's see how this goes. I got bombs. i blow up that. Going, there's got to be a boss in here. Oh, yeah. I remember fighting this guy once. I think this might be the uh, the final boss I've um, played before. So let's see what I remember here. I think if I get him rolling around, I can like push him into something. I don't remember for sure. King Dodongo. You have to run around. I can't fight him head on, I don't think. Maybe I just have to stay ahead of him long enough. Probably isn't going to end well for Link. Behind me? Oh, he switches direction. Okay, okay. fault there. Right. Is that phase one or is that the entire fight? Oh, phase one it looks like. Okay. Oh. No, no. What you doing? What you doing? Was that it? Piece of heart or heart container, whatever it's called in this game. Yay! 
This work link. Perfect. Hello, Chief. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. What's he giving me? Ooh, I get stone. You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Yes. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody. Let's offer or see off our brother. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? All right, so let's continue up. The trail here. So I think I got up to this point, right? And we fell down in there. Was there something down in here that I missed? This part I don't know. Because, yeah, there's rupees. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Let's fall back down. <clears throat> Is there, like, a thing to blow up in here? Or do I need to just need to go further? I may just need to go further. Up the trail. I don't really see... Do you see any walls? That look like they can be blown up. I don't think so. So yeah, I think I just need to keep going up the trail. I don't think I went far enough last time. Okay. I know Navi. What do you what do you want to say? Yeah, that's where we're trying to go, unless I'm going the wrong way. I will never claim to be a uh, sharpshooter with the uh With the slingshot. All right, here we go. All right. This looks like something I need to blow up. So let's blow this up. And go in here. Oh, hey, look. Found the great fairy. <laughs> Do. Do, 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 do. 
Whoa. Welcome, Questing. I am the Great Fairy of Power. I am going to grant you a sword technique. Ooh, receive it now. All right, so if we push and hold B, sweet. If you're going back down to the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Hoot, hoot, hoot. All right. Zoom down the mountain. Nice. All right, back to the graveyard. We played around with opening some of the graves, but I think there's actually like something we have to go read or do here towards the back of the graveyard. So we're gonna go back here and see what's at the back. Can I check this grave? Ah. The royal family's tomb. Okay, so that's where I need to get into. Um, how do I get into the tomb? Royal Family Composer Bros. Flat the Younger Rip. Ah, okay. How do I attack you? The Green Lantern, is he supposed to kind of look like Luigi? I like the ghost of Luigi past. All right. Come on. Let me defeat you. All right. Was that five hits, four hits, four hits, five hits? Ah, you killed me. Unbelievable. You're a ghost. How did I kill a ghost? That's a question for you. Oh, what? You're not one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that. I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. <clears throat> I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of K Kakariko Village. All of the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. We brothers also serve the royal family and were assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce, we had almost completed our study of controlling time with the tones of ocarinas. Perfect. Uh, I mean, actually, we did complete that study. We would have been famous if that hateful Ganondorf had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. Do you want to hear what I said again? Nope. See, I think this is, uh, since it can control time, I think that means that we can control the um, day and night once we find this song. So um, let's check this other grave. His brother should come out. Sharp the Elder. I won't naughty target him. That's annoying. Come on, Navi. There we go. Much easier if I can target the enemy. Sweet. Ah, I'm dead again. What? You again? Somehow you remind me of Princess Zelda. Hmm, since you may have some connection with the royal family, I will tell you a little more of our tale. 
Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be a part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. To tell the truth, each of us was studying a different song, one to summon the sun and another to summon the moon. Perfect. If you were really sent by a member of the royal family, I will tell you about the results of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the Triforce mark. Do you want to hear what I said again? Nope. All right, so there's a tri Triforce mark right here. So we're playing uh, Zelda's Lullaby again. Do, do, do. What's going to happen? Well, apparently it's lucky that it was uh, thunderstorming tonight. That's how we were going to break open the, the tomb. Oh, I just had to kill all the keys, apparently. Well, good thing I killed him. <laughs> that would have been really frustrating to... Uh, to not have done that and to figure it out later. All right, so let's go down in here. Ooh, I hear something. What do we hear? Uh, can I just run past you? Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know that I really want to fight you anyway. Unless I have to, but it doesn't look like I do. So we're just going to continue. All right, what's written here? This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Right down up, right down up. For the sun's song. Right down up, right down up. Do, 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 do. Sweet. You've learned the sun's song. Just run past him. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just gonna get out of here. So why is the royal family's tomb haunted? Shouldn't the royal family have like peace in the afterlife? Oh, food for thought. I think at this point we can pretty much visit all of the other domains and stuff. Um, I don't remember if there's any like reason to start visiting other places yet. So, you know, depending on how adventurous we get, um, depending on if we decide we want to continue along the main storyline today or if we want to just do some side quest stuff, uh, we'll kind of see where time takes us today and uh, see what we want to do. Let's go check out Lon Lon Ranch. See what we can do there. Um, I think there's one or two side quests plus um, getting a Pona that we can get out here eventually. So we'll see uh, see what we're allowed to do at this point and if there's um, anything else we need to do. All right, Lon Lon Ranch.
Time's up. Too bad. These are some great Kukos, aren't they? They're ranking in money for me. Come back to me, my babies. Want to try again? No. See, I think that's Epona right there. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? He he. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. He he. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Yes, can I have her? It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. But I want her. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Okay, yes, I'd like to see. Oh, I have to pull up my ocarina. Okay. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song that, with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. Up, left, right, up, left, right. Up, left, right, up, left, right. Okay. I played Epona's song. Great. You've learned Epona's song. Yay. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're coming back to that one eventually. So is it a problem if I get caught at this point? I don't know. All right, what's up here? Dead end. But it looks like I might be able to blow it up. Ooh. Where are we crawling through to? Ah, well that was a little bit more direct than I anticipated it being. Well, hello. Gotta love those really smooth polygons in N64 era. Welcome, questing. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. What did I get? Din's fire. It's fireball engulfs everything. It's attack magic you can use with C. You want to talk to Soraya, right? Yes, I do, please. Questing, this is Soraya. Can you hear me? Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find. You mean the spiritual stone of water, don't you? The great Deku tree once told me that King Zora under rule of Zora's domain has it. Do you want to talk to Soraya again? Nope. Cool, Zora's domain. Quite familiar with Zora's domain from uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but can't say I really know it in this game. All right, this looks promising. So if we go in through here, what's this sign tell us? Zora's River. Watch out for swift current and strong undertow. All right, let's head up the river. Cool. Looks like we might be going the right direction. Let's see if we get some hearts and stuff before we head up stock up on all of our supplies. Ooh, I got a magic jar. Your magic meter is filled. Sweet. 
Hoo-hoo, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, questing. Just ahead lies Zoro's domain. The Zoros serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo-hoo-hoot. Cool. So it looks like this is like the checkpoint to make sure you've got bombs before you head up the river. So we're going to blow that open. Let's talk to this guy. What do you have to tell me? Chomp, 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 chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? If I say no, will you give me a better deal? Oh well, chomp chomp. Fine, I'll take one. Ooh, got some magic beans. Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with seeds and wait for something fun to happen. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to your yellow arrows and then use C to plant it. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So there's one right here I can plant. I'm pretty sure that's what these pieces indicate. So let's try planting this one here. Uh, do I have to be like stepping on? There we go. Cool. Let's plant that one. Might as well buy another one while we're here. If he'll sell me more. There we go. Can you come with me the whole way? Cool. All right, there's a gap here that I didn't see the first time. The things you learn. Dang, I wonder how you get up there. I'm sure there's a trick or something, but for now, we'll just keep going. Can I climb up that? No, I probably have to go across this log, huh? Um, I guess we'll throw you here. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. So no chicken there. And then jump across here. Oh, I can walk. Cool. All right, what's over this way? There's a fence that's probably too high for me as Young Link, right? Yeah, okay. Can I jump this gap? All right, let's keep going up river here. Uh, oh gosh. There's a ladder down there, so let's keep that in mind if we fall, that there's a ladder I might be able to use to get back up. Oh, gosh. No! Okay, at least we can walk. So where was that ladder? It was over here somewhere, right? Right there. Okay, let's go back up here. That looks semi promising. What's in here? Uh, nothing I can get to yet. Okay. Ah. All right. 
Thank you, Zora. Let me in. In we go. Cool. Zora's domain. Okay. Just ahead, King Zora's chamber. Show the proper respect. I think we want to go talk to him, right? I mean, we got a dingy sound, so must have done something, right? Ooh, hi, King Zora. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto, where has she gone? I am so worried. <clears throat> Can I help you find her? Okay. I get that you're worried, but what can I do about it? Let's try the diving game. Now I've got enough rupees. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. Oh gosh. Awesome. Okay. Got all of those. Let's go back up. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Ah, okay. Got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Perfect. So there's a little cave down here. So now I've got that. Does that let me go somewhere new? Yeah. Oh, down to Lake Hylia. That is not what I expected. Cool. I am Zora. Uh, Zora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into the lake. Okay. Looks like there's a bottle down there. How do I get it? You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. What, something's already inside? Awesome. Um, let's see what's inside of it. And then I think we can go back up to Zora's Domain in that cavern, right? What's inside? Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. Oh, I guess I haven't seen Lord Jabu Jabu then, because that's not her father. Oh well. Let's go back up. <laughs> okay, so we're back into Zora's domain. That's a nice shortcut. There we go. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside, inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian guard, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. I can pass, you can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle. It was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. Oh, it's got a shuffle. 
Pobre. No, 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 Right, let's go grab a fish. All right, got us a fish. Like all the way back up and into Jabu Jabu's area. Perfect. Zora's Fountain. Perfect. Cool. 